am speaking today with Donna Ribley, the Executive Director of One Source Empowering Caregivers, and Deborah Russo, who is a volunteer care specialist. Hi, Donna. Hi, Deborah. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having us. Yeah, nice to be here. My pleasure. So, Donna, give us just a little quick overview of One Source Empowering Caregivers for those who do not know. So One Source Empowering Caregivers is a new nonprofit in Nevada County. It's a volunteer-based organization that provides cost-free respite to caregivers who are caring for their loved ones at home. So to become a volunteer care specialist, there's a number of hours of training involved. Um, Donna, why don't you tell us about the upcoming training, and then, Deborah, I'm going to have you talk a little bit about what that was like for you. Great. So we have an upcoming training that is going to be taking place on April 22nd, the 29th, and May 6th, and it's very it's free for all of those who are looking for a wonderful volunteer opportunity, and uh, we provide breakfast and lunch, and it's fun and engaging, and it's just a wonderful experience for um, those who are interested in this. So, Deborah, talk a little bit about why you decided to do this as, uh, you know, the place you wanted to put your volunteer hours. Yeah, thank you. I actually was looking uh, for something to to do for volunteer time. And my husband and I are relatively new to the area, and we moved here to take care of my 85-year-old mother. And when we got here, I started looking for a volunteer opportunity, and I read about this in the paper about a week before the class was to start, so I called in and they got me in right away. And I was really focused on trying to um, not only volunteer time, but meet some like-minded people and learn more about caring for my mom. So um, I was able to do both with the program, and the added benefit is that it's providing such a much-needed service. It definitely is doing that. So what was the training like for you? Oh, it was great. Uh, The group was very fun, actually. We had um, more than 10 people in the class, and everybody laughed a lot. The instructors were very thorough, very knowledgeable. We have uh, several that are nurses, and many have been giving, um, doing trainings and providing care or instructing on care for a very long time. So it was very thorough. I felt very prepared afterward. You know, there's always a little apprehension when you do something new, but uh, one of the things they offer is a lot of guidance on, you know, kind of worst-case scenarios and um, what-if scenarios. So you're kind of going into it expecting anything, and the reality is the majority of the time is very effortless and fun and interactive. There's, I've not had a single emergency to contend with, I'm happy to say, but um, they do a very thorough job. I felt very prepared. Good. If you have, could use just one word to describe um, your experience as a volunteer care specialist, what would that be? I never come to mind, but I would say fulfilling. It's been very fulfilling. I feel really like a uh, something has been added to my life that was missing. And I'm speaking with Donna Ribley and Deborah Russo from One Source Empowering Caregivers. So, Deborah, do you care for more than one person, or do you have one person that you take care of? On I, I have basis? just one. There are a number of the volunteers that have um, requested to help more than one family. I actually also work and, and take care of my mother, as I mentioned, so I just volunteer four hours a week right now. And are there any boundary issues that you come across? Mm, you know, that's a, that's a great question. We actually have pretty thorough training on that because, um, you know, boundary issues can mean someone wanting you to, to um, prepare meals or um, um, do something that perhaps we're not thoroughly trained for. And we're really trained on what our boundaries are uh, ourselves as care volunteer care sp- specialists, but also there's an assessment team that goes into the home early on to assess the needs of the family and see if they're a family that we can help. And when they do that, they start setting the expectations there of what the boundaries are. So we're all really clear on them. And if a boundary, I guess, infringement <laughs> comes up, we feel pretty comfortable stating what we are capable of doing. So no, I haven't had that happen. Good, good. So Donna, talk to us a little bit about uh, who does the trainings. I know that we've mentioned this before, but who does the trainings for the classes? So we have a very accomplished, diverse group of individuals who combined have had many years of experience in the 
in the uh, caregiving field and supporting caregivers. And so we're so fortunate to have them on board to be able to provide this instructorship to our volunteer care specialists. And how many volunteers have you trained so far? We've trained 15 so far, and um, 13 of them are providing care on the community right now. So there's 13 out in the community. How many um, caregivers are waiting to have a volunteer come and offer respite care for them? We have 27 caregivers that are waiting on our waiting list. Mm -hmm. And how many um, people are you hoping to train in this upcoming class you've got? We're hoping to train 20. We have 10 volunteers so far, and so we're hoping to um, have a response of 10 more volunteers that come forward. Most of the volunteers that you have are women, is that correct? That is correct, Mm -hmm. but we would love to have some men come forward because what an opportunity to provide this wonderful companionship to a man who, you know, is maybe at home and needs some companionship. Well, I hope that you get the men that decide that this is what they would like to do. I do, too, because I think it would be wonderful. I think it would be a wonderful addition to our um, program. So how can volunteers sign up? They can either call me directly at 530-802-6154, or they can call the office at 530-205-9514 and leave a message. They can also go to our website at empoweringcaregivers.org and fill out an inquiry form, and the application is also available there. Or they can come in... um, to the office, and the dates are April 22nd, April 29th, and May 6th. Those are all Saturdays from 8.30 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon. Like I said, it's a free training that we're offering, and um, there's lunch and breakfast that will be served. So, yeah, please give us a call. It's a wonderful opportunity. And can I add, uh, from talking with Donna, I know um, what we really are in need of is the volunteer care specialist, but there are opportunities in the office for volunteers if people would like to come in and volunteer time doing something else. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it sounds like there could be something for anyone. All right. Last thing, and either one of you could answer is, is there anything about being a volunteer care specialist that we haven't discussed that either of you would like to share? I'll I'll answer that if you don't mind. This is Donna. Um, I am also doing volunteer care specialist work outside in a a home, and um, I just find it so rewarding to be able to go in there and and visit this individual and spend this time with them. And I know from their reaction and their family's reaction that they enjoy that time that's set aside for our visit and the companionship that we are building with one another. So it's it's really lovely, rewarding work. Good. Yes. Yeah. And I would love to add that the effort that you put forth for this um, is so outweighed by the benefit that you receive and the and the opportunity to help people. They're so grateful. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to thank both of you for being here today. I've been speaking with Donna Ribley, Executive Director of One Source Empowering Caregivers, and Deborah Russo, a volunteer care specialist. Thank you both for coming in. Thank Thank you, Charlotte, and thanks to KVMR. 